Hey, hi, hello. Welcome to today's stream. Um, it's been a while. We haven't streamed last week, I think. Did we stream the week prior to that? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But um, yeah, we're here now. We'll continue our run in Crusader Gang 3. And um, stream title is Greek Love Stories. And that's exactly um, what we'll do today. So, um, last time we noticed that this guy doesn't have a wife because she died in childbirth at age 17. Wow, that's rough. Um, and that's actually, wow, that guy is, is going through wives really quick his first wife died at age 36 from stress anyway um okay knowing that what i'm planning to do here is going to be um let's say even more morally despicable because we do have a daughter and our daughter doesn't have a spouse yet Unfortunately, our daughter is just five years old and a genius. But what we could... Oh, no. Nope. Too bad. Um, that's, that's a son. So we can't marry our son to that guy who is most likely the most powerful duke in the entire empire. Um... And as it happens, we want that alliance. So I think what we'll go, what we are, what we are going to do here. Oh, wait, wait a second. There we are. Game audio is uh, useful indeed. So now that we have game audio, what I'm thinking about doing is marrying um, our little daughter five years old to that guy here and see where that takes us well i already know where that takes us because um i think we checked last time yes yes we did that would result in a potential alliance um with the duchy thing is and access to almost 3,000 soldiers. So that's exactly why we're doing it. Um, thing is, what are we going to do once we have secured that alliance? Because all of our direct neighbors are part of his realm. We can't attack that guy. Too many soldiers. Can we maybe... Just maybe... Attack and secure Creed with his help. A thousand soldiers is... Is okay, I wanna say. We have access to, to more than he does. Um, what kind of worries me is his ally would bring another 500 soldiers to, to the table. Um, but that's only worrisome if... Um, if Amphilochios um, refuses to join the war. Well all um, hinging on on that he'll actually um, give us an alliance um, if he's marrying my daughter or our daughter really um, but that could be a plan right other than that not really that much else which is up for grabs here 
Well, let's... We could expand into Italy. And we might be able to take him on. Let's see. Or maybe Syracuse? Naples? Wow, that's a lot of troops for a county. That's Tunis. No, that's that's too much. Would um, bite off more than we can chew. What about Sardinia? But that's like halfway um, across the sea, so might not be that great of an idea as well. These pesky alliances. Not helpful. Not helpful at all, let me tell you. Okay, but um let's let's quit the planning for now and um Is there anything else we wanted to do? She is receiving an education. That's great. There's literally no easy pickings whatsoever here. That's the Emirate of Sicily. There's allies left, right and center. Wow. Yeah, we could go for that, but um, almost equal military strength is, let's say, kind of worrisome. Anyway, I think what we'll do is um, start for now and see where the evening takes us. Familiar reputation. The mayor is white. Let me check. Can we upgrade any of our holdings? No, we can't. What we could do, however, is um, build another holding here in, in the mountains of Akaya. However, I think we should... Um, should have about one and a half K gold before we go for that. Because mercenaries um are all life insurance here. Household savings. Gained fifty gold. Nice. That's helpful. And a Marshall Park. Now what are we doing here? South the Crown. Castle's Bell I cost. Yeah. Roman scheme power. Hmm. Castle's Bella cost is nice though. Let's go with that. He's the guy is handily winning his war, right? Attacking the Duchy of Athens. Yeah. Power hungry little bugger. You are. But we as well, so who can really blame him? Neighboring ruler lost war. Yeah, okay. So. 
we pretty much all know he's coming for me next, right? So let's see. Ah, all our vessels in line. Yes, they are. Okay. In that case, let's go and sway the Basileus. And... Now it really might be time to um, to go for that alliance, to be honest. Yeah, children born of this marriage will be of his dynasty. But um, it's for the greater good, for the greater good of our realm, and um, she will get some prestige out of that. And we will get an alliance. Yeah, that's, that's a great deal. Can't refuse that. Okay, so there we are. We do have our mighty alliance here. Now, do we go for Creed? I want to. But will he join us? That's, that's the question here. 3,000 troops. Wow. My guy is really not messing around, that's for sure. Hmm. Thinking about it, maybe we shouldn't be so greedy and actually increase our men at arms a bit. But, um, or we could go for another regiment entirely. Horsemen, so that's probably heavy cavalry, right? Surprisingly, no, not, not at all surprisingly, to be honest. But really expensive. And not that great probably in Greece, because it's all just... At least on, on my side, um, on, on, on our little island here, it's all pretty much mountains and hills. Is there another war happening? Or is that just... Oh, they're both... Okay, the guys attacking him are both vessels. That's a really, really powerful vessel. To be honest. But, um, not my land, so not my problem. Anyway. Night improvement. And what we also should do in preparation of the war is to switch him to um, organize army. Snow, charmed vessel. As I walk outside, I'm greeted by the side of my vessel. May I 
Algidia, crouching beside my cat Snow, tenderly patting her head. This is quite a lovely cat you have, my lord. Oh, thank you very much. Very perceptive. Train gate, ill. Oh no. That's not good. Um, you or peasant high or low? Anyway. Woke coughing in the early morning hours, dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Um, do no more than what's necessary. Yeah, that sounds like a common cold, which might kill me, but also might not. Um, so Theophanus brought a croaking bucket to my chambers and told me to expose my upper body. He grabbed a toad, gutted it with his deft hands and proceeded to place a still twitching carcass on my chest. Well, that's some um, interesting methods to cure cold. Um, he continued until the bucket was empty and my torso was covered. The toad treatment turned out to be just what I needed, for now the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little brighter. Reduce disease symptoms. And the Basileus is not swayed at all. 